drifting pitifully in the whirlwind of birth and death, as if wandering in a dream. In the midst of illusion, I awaken to the true path. There is one more matter I must not neglect, but I need not bother now as I listen to the sound of the evening rain falling on the roof of my temple retreat in the deep grass of Fukakusa. Treading along in this dreamlike illusory realm, without looking for the traces I may have left. A bird song beckons me to return home. Hearing this, I tilt my head to see who has told me to turn back. But do not ask me where I am going as I travel in this limitless world, where every step I take is my home. Enlightenment is like the moon reflected on water. The moon does not get wet, nor is the water broken. Although its light is wide and great, the moon is reflected even in a puddle an inch wide. The whole moon and the entire sky are reflected in one dewdrop on the grass. Our own picture of the world is a kind of fantasy made of our memory and our brain. Each person has this limitation. That is why we have problems, troubles, fighting, arguments. The angles we see the world from are different. The supreme awareness is to recognize that we cannot see the whole world. To understand that we are deluded and limited. This means we have to let go of our viewpoints. When we break through the barrier and drop off all limitations, we are no longer concerned with conceptual distinctions. To study the Buddha way is to study the self. To study the self is to forget the self. To forget the self is to be actualized by myriad things. When actualized by myriad things, your body and mind as well as the bodies and minds of others drop away. No trace of enlightenment remains. And this no trace continues endlessly. Each and every one of us, without exception, is living out the self, which is only the self. And the present, that is only the present. This is the reality of life, regardless of whether we think it is true or not. When we discover that the truth is already in us, we are all at once our original selves. Joyful in this mountain retreat, yet still feeling melancholy, studying the Lotus Sutra every day, practicing Zazen single-mindedly. What do love and hate matter when I'm here alone?
listening to the sound of the rain late in this autumn evening. Mm-hmm.